Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Aki, Mr. Brother, here, Yakanim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Akar Kardashi, and double honors to the elders and apostles of the Great Millstone who grew well and that taught me this truth. And citations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers that are putting this work diligently, diligently sincerely, and truthfully. Do you all like to say Shalom? All right. A quick transit headed into work now. All right. But I'm in the spirit and the spirit hit me to do a lesson on. Um, Salakia, it was on, um, what was I just meditating on? About how, oh, a uh, diet, Salakia, diet. About how you are what you eat, okay? Brothers need to be having better diets, man. All right, because uh, scriptures say, you know, you know, uh, bodily exercise profit of little, but it's still profitive. All right, and it also says uh, in the book of Ecclesiasticus about how good health is better than and, and fine gold or anything like that. All right, so you could tell a lot about a man by what he allows to put in himself. All right, you're supposed to be strict. All right, your body is your temple. All right, your brothers are still out there eating fast food like Wendy's and Chick-fil-A. Right, but the brothers even know that Chick-fil-A, the burger or the sandwich, the, the chicken sandwich has over 50 ingredients in it. Now, how does a chicken sandwich have over 50 ingredients? Got to ask yourself that, man. Got to be wise. Got to put ourselves in the best situation. All right, our body is already weak. Our flesh is already weak. So if something's weak, wouldn't we try our hardest to try to do the little things and, and, and give ourselves the little advantages to get ahead? Like eating healthy, all right? Eating your fruits, we are electric people. We're electric, we're carbon. We're carbonated people. We're melanated people. We, we get our energy from sugar, all right? But fruit sugar, sugars from fruit, electrolytes, all right? Carbohydrates, things that uh, hydrate your body, your skin, your, your, your organs, your blood. We have to be eating more fruit, all right? Going, going fast, going, going water fast, going, going fruit fast, all right? That also regenerates the cells in the body and makes you age uh, slower and, and keeps you younger looking, all right? Fasting is crucial. Scriptures talk about fasting. You've got a dry fast where you eat nothing or drink nothing. And then you also got other fasts where you can go on a fruit fast where you just eat nothing but raw fruits or a liquid fast, whether that be of teas or waters or juice fat or juices, but you need to be fasting your body, all right? Because it's also good on your soul, your spirit, your mind as well. What's good for the body is also good for the mind, all right? Brothers need to have that balance. Eating is so crucial for you, all right? It really is our medicine, all right? Because we don't want to be tied up to them pharmaceutical drugs, all right? Brothers shouldn't be trying to be on them pharmaceutical drugs because the word pharma pharmacy means pharmakia in the Greek, which means sorcery and poison. So you know what Esau got all these goddamn poison factories around? I right, got everybody fucking uh, strung out on drugs, all right, opioids, all right, fucking out here in La La Land getting more fucking demons on them from their anxiety and depression that they get from them side effects from them goddamn drugs, all right, it's natural herbs, Christians say, you know, uh, there's natural remedies in the earth and those that are bored are not wise, all right, Christians tell you that the medicines in the earth, what you eat, get your herbs in, get your B12, get your magnesium, all right, get your alfalfa, eat your greens. Men, you need to eat good so it keeps your testosterone high. Testosterone for men is very crucial. All right, keeps your energy high, keeps your sex drive high. All right, keeps, keeps your mind clear, keeps you focused. Okay, it keeps you at an advantage. Testosterone is a fucking secret weapon if you know how to use it. You gotta tap into your secret weapon, tap into your little power source that you got, man. All right, yeah, we know the scriptures is a power source, but also within yourself is a power source. You gotta find out how... how, how how to, how, to, how to make it a power. You know, we already know that breaking out of scriptures and understanding the scriptures on a low level is, is, is a spiritual power. You know? And the word God mean, mean, means power. We are, we are, or we are powers. You gotta tap it, tap into that power, man. Once you come into this light, you got you gotta live in the light. You gotta be in the light. You don't wanna go back to the dark. All right, you eating them fast foods, them box foods, all them fake sugars, sodas. All them fake Gatorades or Primes or whatever bullshit, all right? You're putting poison into your body. You're putting fake sugars into your body. You're putting acidic things into your body. You're making your body more susceptible to uh, weakness, to sin, to the flesh, to demons. Just all by what you eat. So brothers definitely need to sharpen up their diet. And that is sharpen up their mind. That is sharpen up their body. That is sharpen up their life. Once you get a consistent working out schedule and eating healthy, if you wasn't doing that, you will see how much you needed that in your life. That's a crucial thing for a man. All right? it, it releases crucial endorphins, chemicals 
releases into our body that makes us feel good, that gives us confidence, that assures us of ourselves. You know, especially as a man, man, we need to be strong and, and in shape, all right, and, and, and protectors and providers, but also the example that the young, the youngest should be looking up to, aspiring to be like or look like. Not these fat, chubby, feminine, soft motherfuckers out here walking around sloppy. Can't do 50 push-ups, can't do 30 push-ups, can't do 10 pull-ups, can't even run a mile. All right? We're supposed to be real men. Real men are in shape. All right? Real men ain't walking around here fucking sloppy. Real men are dangerous. They just know how to control it. They know how to put a nozzle on it. Real men ain't out of here out of control, trying to fight everybody and hurt everybody. We out here trying to just... Be humble, lay back, be out the way, and, and do what we need to do. We ain't out here trying to be seen and, and be loud and, you know, things like that. We're trying to put our work in that we got to do and keep it moving. But brothers, got to eat better, man. Your body is your temple. What you allow in your temple is crucial. And we're talking about f physical food, but we also know that the, 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 food, the foods are the other, the other different doctrines as well. What you digest We talking about You can digest the physical foods But we also talking about Digesting the You know the righteous uh, Doctrine as well And even the scriptures Tell you in Leviticus What is lawful And what isn't lawful If brothers are going shopping And they're not looking On the back of the ingredients For things Then you're not in the spirit How are you going Into the grocery store In 2024 And not looking On the back of things Do you know the shit They're putting in this stuff Nowadays They're divorcing pork And everything They're doing everything With this, with this shit man you got to be on your P's and Q's and be on point, be alert, be sober, be vigilant. Because your adversary, the devil, is walking around like a roaring lion seeking who he made devour. If you look weak, he's going for you. All right? So even when you look weak, you can't show that you're weak. You got to keep your spirit. Keep your spirit on point. Stay sharp. Even if you is, don't show it. Remain remain diligent. Remain, remain humble. Remain calm. A ruler of yourself. All right? Get your diet right and it will change your life. Alright, so with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, Barakatum, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and that taught me this truth. And citations out there to the hopeful elect, the brothers of the putting this work diligently, sincerely, and truthfully. To you, I'd like to say, Shalom.